What's good, my love? Y'all, it's Alexis J. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another video. What's good to my returning subscribers and what's popping to my new ones? So y'all, as you see from the title, today's video is like a business 101 and these are my business essentials when it comes to my business, okay, y'all? On the link at www.ajjewels.org, y'all. I have so much to offer from lashes to clothing to accessories everything y'all and if you're interested in learning how to become a hair influencer or any of my digital products check out my ebooks link too okay y'all but let's get into the video so y'all my first business essential is my products like y'all i have to have all products on hand i do not want to pre-sell nothing anymore y'all because i did have a bad experience one time when i started selling like a uh, fast fashion clothing from overseas y'all and baby when i say never again like it took customer almost three weeks in order for her to receive that product like her well her clothes like i highly recommend when you start a business to have everything on hand so let me show y'all some of my business essentials that i have on hand when it comes to my inventory so for my inventory like i have like my beads sitting all in here for when it comes to me making my bracelets uh i have charms i have so many charms uh oh but y'all i make charm bracelets as well and i have so much it's time for me to get consistent with my business well i am i'm starting to get more and more consistent with my business i have my apple watches sitting inside these boxes and i have all of my lashes sitting right here y'all so i have so much inventory on hand especially my 21 glue slash eyeliner pen Oh, yeah. next thing i want to say is find a way to keep up with your inventory rather it's through excel on the computer or it's actually you handwriting it down y'all keep up with your inventory so you can keep up with the way you are going to profit and it's just a way to help you keep up with your money and it helps you stay organized that way you don't oversell your products okay I keep a calendar for my business. It lets me know when I'm going to promote things. And it just let me know the days of the week. That way I can keep up with like the holidays and the different types of specials that's going on or the specials that I'm going to offer. What days I want to do like free shipping on like the entire. It helps me stay organized with the days of the week and how I'm going to promote certain things. I highly recommend having like dry erase boards. Y'all, I have three currently. Let me show y'all. So these are my dry erase boards. So when it comes to my dry erase boards, one of them have another calendar on it. That way I can see it um, bigger in my face. This dry erase board, I write like my daily goals on to keep me up to date with things I want to accomplish daily for my business. And then my third one that I have allows me to keep up with like the ideas I have because y'all, I pop up randomly with ideas. I have a planner for my business goals for Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, and it helps me keep up with my planning as well. So I have another planner, y'all. Like I have two planners. The laptop is sitting on top of this. This is what helps me to print out my shipping labels. This is what helps me to work on my website. And this is what helps me stay connected digitally. I use a phone. I have a phone where I have Wix on since that's what my website is ran through. But I use a phone to take pictures of my products. Let's create content. Mm -hmm. Also, y'all, I use my camera my camera helps me get the work done as well when it comes to creating content for my business like i have thank you cards so these are my thank you cards um once i finish with these i plan on updating my business cards because these 
I don't even have my website on this business card. Like it's a thank you card. So let me let me specify. Okay, these are my thank you cards, and you also need to have like a business card so these are just my thank you cards but i need to make some business cards for my business as well because y'all i am a serial entrepreneur but i file everything all into one when it comes to aj's jewels when it comes to fashion and accessories and just beauty related but my graphic designing is a totally another ball game and my digital uh products is a totally another business but yeah business cards Thank you cards. We have thank you stickers and I have my cute little girly stickers that I like to add on my packages, such as this, hold on. Such as these two right now, these are my two main ones, but I do want to expand when it comes to having my cute little stickers. So when it's time for me to ship orders, I usually like freebies, like I'll put extra bracelets on the inside of a person's order or depending on like if they order like collaboration wigs for me that I'm reselling, I include some lashes. Um, it's just like a lot of freebie stuff that I like to include just to let my clients, well, just to let my customers know that I really, really appreciate them and that I'm so grateful that they're supporting my business. So y'all get little freebies. Bubble mailers, poly mailers, and boxes. So I use all of these for my business. Let me show y'all like the main three that I have. So these are the boxes that I use for my business. I put my uh, collaboration wigs inside of these boxes, but I want to add more of my brand to it. So. Stay tuned for that. Um, also, I plan on rebranding when it comes to my packaging and stuff. So, stay tuned for that. But these are like the three different poly mailers that I use. It just depends on the size of the order. So, I have this type of thank you bag when it comes to when it comes to my clothing. So that yeah these are easier for when it comes to my clothing brand as well so i'll say include fragile stickers regardless of what type of package it is that way they can deliver y'all stuff to y'all clients in a well manner because we don't want our customers to get stuff that's damaged so i definitely suggest getting fragile stickers and just putting it on all your orders because boo this is a fragile order Take care of it. Hmm. I have shipping labels. This is what I use to package some of my, um, well, majority of my orders in. It's like a cute little baggie that I put the bracelets in. And I also use Ziploc bags to help separate them as well. But I think I'm gonna do away with those. But I do have a bunch of tiny little Ziploc bags for them, uh, for my jewelry. I use a printer to print my shipping labels. I do not have a shipping or thermal shipping, uh, a thermal printer, my dear, at least. But I am thugging it out with a printer. And when it comes to having a printer, y'all, y'all better make sure y'all have that ink because you don't want it to be very busy and you run out of ink. So, yeah. You have a scale. You need to weigh your packages in order for you to accurately put it in and i definitely have like a, a scale that i use to measure my packages i have a bunch of organizers i have an organizer right there all those are organizers it comes to like the different things that i sell within my business like i keep my charm separated i keep the lash separated um i do use ring lights and led lights in general to help me to promote my business when it's time for me to start creating that content for my business when it's time for me to ship my orders i like to include like little motivational cards that i include with every single order and i also have like a stack of um a stack of thank you cards like actual cards that i have that i hand write to each and every one who makes a purchase with me and i really take the time to just sit out and to write a personal message to you just to thank you for supporting my business because you really don't have to so it's a privilege to 
be able to have you to support my business. So I definitely write personalized notes as well. I have a desk that I sit at and that I work from when it comes to me having somewhere to sit in. Yeah. I have a bunch of stationary items that I use to write. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all of it. Uh, when it comes to my fashion side of the business, I definitely have a sewing machine that I use because y'all, when it comes to my fashion side, when it comes to me hand making stuff, y'all, it's so much that goes into it. Like I have a bunch of thread, I have a bunch of spindles, I have needles ready and prepped for when it's time for me or well, in case something happens. But, and I have like distress needles, scissors it's a bunch that goes into um having that side to my business i also have like measuring tapes so yeah uh that's all that i use for my business these are my business essentials when it comes to aj's jewels so don't forget to check out www.ajjewels.org yeah and support your girl y'all i have a sale that's going on so make sure you take advantage of this sale and you are styling yourself in fashion until another video peace my loves